Hello guys and be welcome to the channel. Today we have a new tool on the bench where we're gonna have a look into it and see if it is any good. This is our art box with different modules from Cryotrophy and it's supposed to have paint hold paint brush holders, water tanks wet palettes and paint storage let's look inside the box and see what's come in i'll see you guys in a bit so, when opening the box we have a little box where you have all your sponges and paper i'll show you in a second you have all these modules you have one container for your two water bottles pots sorry and then you have another four compartments down here so they are all attached with these clips which makes it nice and easy to store keep away so if you open the clips like so you can remove these this way so if you do the same all the way down they will come separated like so so this is our interlinkable so you have the things here that link to each other so you can obviously they have to be white on white no oh no you have to take the leads off sorry so while you're painting if you take your leads off like so then you can link them and you can do like so if then you can have your blades on back again yeah there we go then you can have your link leads back on again so you might be wondering why this is like so so basically this is for storage your paints your oil paints gouaches you can store them on here keep them here and keep them um, at ready for you to paint this one is a two-in-one palette so on the bottom i've done one already i'm gonna push this one here so with these ones you have two options so the first option is you have the sponge that you can you have a five millimeter sponge that you can put it on here yeah get your water not sure if this is going to be enough water but we'll see we shall see if we have enough water or not i think it will be but we shall try our best to make this work I should have get this wet beforehand but I'm a newbie to wet palettes and all those things so when you open this box here you get your papers uh, what's right? I've been messing around with them I've opened them already as you can see by this bunch but I needed to figure out how this works so you have two type of paints two type of paper sorry these ones are disposable for acrylic watercolor and gouache painting and should give you an effect like a glass or plastic uh, surface so you can use them in a better way this one is for your wet palette so normal wet palette principle you put your paper on here and carry on painting so 
we have one already out so let's put it on here and yeah it's working fairly well we keep it here and as you can see it went down not a treat but very well so you can use this way and then you can close it and keep your paints at safe the other option if you want a type of plastic or glass surface and this will give you that thing all you have to do is the printed labels put it down we have these paper clips here and there we go you can you can have your paints here mix them up as you go along so you go boom boom mix them up use them when you finish just remove the paper chuck it in the bin you have two spare clips just in case one of these broke breaks but spare one and then you have your water pots so these water pots come inside the carry holder which i think is very nice because that way the pots are safe and they will not be knocked over and each pot comes with one rubber for the hand, which is grooved, I think, to clean the brushes, which is fairly nice as well. Then you have one paintbrush holder that goes on the inside, and this will keep your paint holder inside the water if you need to keep it fresh. And then you have a paint holder that goes on the outside. So you finish with your paint holder, with your paintbrush, get your paintbrush, Stick it on the side and it will be dripping on here and not all over your bench. So this goes inside here and as you can see they fit perfectly. So this is a very interesting concept for miniature, I believe it's mainly for miniature paints. I don't see this as scale models, um, to be used for scale models as much as a wet palette, but if you are keen for miniature painting, as I have been developing my interest lately, as with this one, this is a fairly good system. So you can have your you can have your water thingies, you can have a wet palette, you can have a normal palette and do your brush painting. So I, I Fairly, fairly, fairly excited to try this and see how long does the, the paints last on here. But I will be bringing you everything with that miniature painting. So I'll be painting that miniature. I'll be using this system and showing you guys all the way through. So hope you found this review interesting and useful. If you didn't, please let me know in the comments. If you did please let me know as well on the comments. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget, cry Droofy. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. And see you guys around soon. Bye-bye for now.